Asia Uncut, brought to you by Electronic Arts and Crown Relocations. The flight was awful. Actually, the flight was okay, but I flew Virgin. And to be honest, that is not a good name for an airline. <laughs> what does that tell you when you get on board a Virgin flight? It's telling you, never done this before. That, that doesn't fill me with confidence. I like people who know what they're doing. I like experience when I fly. I want to fly slut. That's what I want. Like. <laughs> you fly slut, you know what they can do. They can handle themselves in a crisis. And you get a bit of extra leg room as well. <laughs> this yeah, no, it's good. Uh, the wife's good. But I've been married 19 years. And, and I think, you know, just, just for, for you, some of you young people here, the secret to a good relationship, it's all about communication and it's about compromise. Right? My wife and I, we have different views about things. Obviously, men and women are a bit different. Who's heard that one before? But, we, you know, I like it with the lights on. And she likes it with the lights off. So we compromise. We do it with the lights off. And... Uh, <laughs> Ah, but I'm wearing night vision goggles. Uh, which is wild. It's a bit like Shrek, you know, she's all green and, uh, and there's a donkey in the room. <laughs> oh, boo. One woman boo, but laughing at the same time. You don't know, do you? It's, I know, that's comedy for you. It can tear you either way. But great to be back here in Asia, folks. Good to be home again. Singapore, I love. And I've, I've lived all over Asia. I've lived in Thailand. I had a bar in Thailand. I had a guy come up to me once. I was, I was serving in the bar, and he heard me talking Thai to, to one of the staff. I said, oh, I'll be a mana. He said, oh, you can speak Thai. He was Swedish. Yeah, I said, yeah, I can. What do you, what's, what, can you teach me some Thai? I said, certainly. What do you want to know? How do you say cheers, you know, skol? <laughs> Typical Swede, right? Drinkers. And I said, well, uh, being an Australian, I said, well, in Thai, you say chakwao. Uh, which is not essentially correct. In Thai, chok ni is good luck, or chon gao, which means collide glasses. Chok wow means to wink. So I told him, he came back the next day, I thought, oh my God, it's a fight. He came, I'm not kidding, he came, that was really good Thai that you taught me. I was drinking with my friends. We went chok wow, and all the Thais were laughing. Can you teach me some more? <laughs> One born every minute. And look, oh, I love Asia. I've got to tell you, India is another place I've been to many times and very, very spiritual people in India. So spiritual. I went into a bookshop in Delhi once. I gave the guy 100 rupees for a 50 rupee book. I said, where's my change, Baba? He said, change must come from within. <laughs> Look at you. You know, I find it hard to believe you were actually in political detention once. Uh, twice. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Twice. twice. Once in Uganda, <laughs> once in Afghanistan. What happened? Uh, well, in, in Uganda, I made the mistake of having two girlfriends. Uh, <laughs> guys, don't do that. Yeah. It's, uh, it's bad. Take uh, a cue. Take a cue from me. Don't, I, but one girlfriend was the, the sister of the president's girlfriend. Ah, excellent. Uh, Yaredi, Yaredi Kagota's girlfriend's sister. And the other was the daughter of the deposed minister of education. <laughs> Bad politics. So uh, both girls actually got together, got the bribe, and, and got me out. So that was kind of cool. You were new to town. You really didn't know where to go. Yeah. Second time was uh, Afghanistan. I was traveling with the Mujahideen. Uh, and this is about 1986. Went into Jalalabad, where I got this ring I'm still wearing, actually. This is from my Kazakh friend, Khoja. There again, I just went for a visit. You know, something crazy to do when you're living on the edge. And on my way back, I was arrested by Russians. Um, and eventually, they, they were cool with it. Uh, yeah, trouble. <laughs> trouble finds you. You don't find it. That's yeah, how it works. Yeah, in the end, I was like, American, American, boom. No offense, but it was just to <laughs> yeah. save my life, right? And I went Australia. Uh, we've been we've been living that the last eight years. <laughs> I was doing a kangaroo thing. So anyway, they drove me to the border. Cheers. Everything was good and friendly. So you know, with a bit of front and a bit of chutzpah, you can get away with an awful lot. But yet you continue to travel. You've been a travel writer. You've done travel TV shows. You know, yeah. we are all one, as they say in India. Ham sab ek hai. Keep us more satu. One world, one people. And, and look, there. thank you very much, yeah. So much is made about religion and language and culture, and to me, these are just the thin veneers over the human condition. I Absolutely. Mean, people want the same thing. You are opening up a comedy club for Asian comedians. What I'm doing is starting a comedy competition. You start out with knock-knock jokes. Or you, get, you get one of these little things here. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, what you How do to be is funny. you make a billion bucks in the that IT. I've read it. It doesn't help. You make a billion bucks in IT, you buy your own TV show, uh, and, <laughs> <laughs> and then you What are you set. talking about? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, you have to be after performance. I'm sure you're always pretty tense, right? You need a little bit of uh, After, yeah, therapy? Yeah, yeah actually, yeah, unwinding's the hard thing, you know, because even in that little two, three minute bit, you know, you get a bit of adrenaline. I was just yeah. getting to the point where this guy's going like this to me, and I thought he was saying, uh, you know, don't mention the war. Right. Uh, yeah. But, it, but in you fact, you never know, it gets confusing. You know, I just wanted to keep going, I was just warming up. Right. And, and now I still feel kind of uh, adrenaline. 
Nothing. I don't know. This this sort of thing happens on this show all the time. Uh, I don't John. even know who this guy is. John, what have you got? We like to take care of our guests, Jonathan. I mean, this is just, it's something that we add. It's, it's strictly therapeutic, so you don't have to worry about that. And, uh, Do I have to keep my clothes on for yeah. this? Yeah. It's all right. This reminds me of my last trip to Gay Lung. Just out a little bit here. Oh, okay. But I want to... Oh, my trip. Yeah. Mace. Never, never mind him. Who, who, never. Uh, who is this? Is this, a, is this a, an angel or a fairy? This is my cousin Ivan. This is your yeah. cousin. This is my cousin Ivan. This is a doll. Works out well. Uh, now, come see uh, Why did you uh, learn 10 plus languages? Oh, I just... Look, I've always been a bit of a village boy, uh, and I just hang out with locals. And, oh, that's actually... That feels well, nice. Sorry, it's not it's bad. You can converse. If you two want to converse in private, feel free. I'm okay. Okay, look, uh, do you know where the green room is? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's just out the back. Don't you even talk about the back. Um, I just, I did the wings get me every time I meet a guy with wings. What yeah, can I say? Yeah, um, happens. Now, let me ask you about East versus West comedy. Mm. What do you see in terms of the difference? What you've got, because you're, you're Australian, yeah. right? Yet here you are out in the East doing a little bit of comedy. Why do I feel I'm about to do some capoeira? What is this? <laughs> some Brazilian cascade going on behind me. Uh, I think Asian comedy is a little more slapstick. It's a little more visual. Like uh, this? Is this what you're saying? This is Something pretty like damn this? Yeah, slapstick. A... Uh, yeah, yeah, indeed. And not that stick. Uh, thanks. <laughs> he's good, though. He's a real master, he isn't is. he? He is. He's, he's not, really good. He's not really Ivan, is it? When I first did comedy here, which was way back in 94, I came out for a tour, it was all Angmo, in other words, all, all Europeans. Uh, and now we're seeing 30, 40% of our crowd are locals, and they're digging it, you know? It's, it's great to see. I think there's a lot more awareness. I think it's great. Well, well done. Thanks for making us laugh. Keep it all coming. You know, we're going to leave you two alone. Thanks, Jonathan. Stay tuned after the break. Now, let's take a look at the world view. Oh, it's again. Completely Well, let's move on to Asia. The outlook's a bit shifty with backhanders, kickbacks at the Polo Club and double tax avoidance building towards the end of next week. Now here you can see the money flooding across the whole of Southeast Asia through thousands of cash-only businesses. Huge pressure to get it to Wall Street with a bank in the head office in Manhattan. Man comes in on Fridays with a briefcase of cash. It's a present from his mother. John, back to you. Several major motion pictures, including all the Bubby series, Crash, George in the Jungle, and Journey to the Center of the Earth. Hey, he's also ambidextrous, which means he can fight bad guys with both hands. Please welcome the multi-talented Brendan Fraser. <laughs> Everybody, we'll see for her. Please, yeah, have at it. Thank you. Wow, so that's what applause sounds like. <laughs> I usually uh, lucky to get eye contact. So I know you, Brendan Fraser, Brendan Fraser, following you around. How you doing? I feel great. You I'm look in good. Singapore. I, you don't look so bad yourself, actually. Thanks. I noticed I was in the green room. Yeah. Oh no, they touched you up. Can you help me out? You had a flood of sweats going yeah, on. I was a little worried for you. You want me to sit, or you yeah. want me to? Eat it. Do I lift up? Can you can you hide the double chin? You know what? I got a little double. It's a kind of a. And we made this movie called Journey to the Center of the Earth. Click out. I, like like this on that. Okay. And, and it's really good because and, you wear these glasses that are not the the red eye blue yeah, ones. Yeah, not those anymore. No, because those, those ones made you puke, dude. Yeah, they do. Do you remember? Driving. Do you want to do me? Yeah. Well, you mean with makeup? This or is kind a, of. Scary, uh, but the R is silent. Yeah, let's do this. So here, we, think about it. This is this is this kind of reminds me of a little George thing, but we'll yeah, get to that a little this bit later. Yeah, it was. This was actually the prototype for the loincloth. Did you save that from the set? Did Ursula but, use this? Little Leslie man on here. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go here. So you're no stranger to Asia, are you, my friend? No, no, I've worked here before. Yeah. I was in Vietnam. And did this movie called a, The Quiet well, American. Yeah, be good right there. You know, The Quiet American is a bit of an oxymoron, isn't it? It's like a gentle rhino. <laughs> I don't, That's uh, what we it, told Michael, because he's a loud Brit. Yeah. Asia Uncut, brought to you by Electronic Arts and Crown Relocations.